All right, guys. Welcome to Life is a Breeze with Matt and Steve. I'm Steve. This is Matt. How you doing, guys? All right. We got a quick one for you. We're going to knock out a couple. Uh, these are very hot on the market right now. Uh, we're going to do peanut butter whiskey. Oh, yeah. So uh, we're starting with our personal favorite, Screwball. Um, and then we've got a new one for you, and then another one we've tried. I'm a big fan. Uh, I'm not sure how mad it's on that. Uh, All right, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Um, so why don't we do this one first since we've had it before. Let's do it. All right, so we always talk about Screwball. Screwball is an amazing peanut butter whiskey. It really is. Um, so since then, a lot of people have been coming out with some stuff. Uh, PB&W, we're going to pour for you. Now, I'm a big fan of this one. I, I like what they've done. Totally different product. Completely separate. Um, <laughs> this thing is glued on there, man. It's like been you cemented. You had this problem last time. I know. I know. It's been like cemented on there, though. Hmm. Which is just... Had to tight, loosen Jesus. it up a little bit there. Like a bottle of champagne over here. It is. Well, I mean, we're supposed to be storing this at like specific temperatures, I think. That was. It came straight out of the whiskey room today. Oh, did this? Mm-hmm. Oh, well... There you go. Yeah, so the screwball right. is always uh, a lot more sweet, a lot more like caramely. This one, to me, just it's it's very whiskey forward, All which right. uh, is nice because it's totally different. So the first contender, PB and W. PB and W. Mm. See, so it's totally circus peanuts. It is. It's the uh, candy. That's circus why I peanuts. love the bottle and everything. Like they they know what they got. Yeah, and it's completely different. Completely different. From uh, having screwball. Yeah. Because you get the circus peanuts, and you do get a little bit of flavor of whiskey in there, too. You do, and you even get the, the heat on that. Yeah. Right? Screwball, and you, I don't get the heat. I would say screwball goes down a little bit smoother, but is less uh, whiskey forward. Definitely. All right. So I got one for you. All right. So never seen this bottle before. No. Nope. What we got? Uh, I saw this yesterday for the first time. It's called Squirrel. Uh, it's made in Chicago, Illinois, and uh, it's a peanut butter flavored whiskey. Awesome. It was 20 bucks. Uh, it's ten dollars cheaper than Screwball, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Local yeah. boys here. Yeah, I'm excited. Big Screwball fan, but you know, a third cheaper is yeah pretty legit. Well, especially for how often we drink this, it's always nice to have like the Screwball. But and technically, both of these are more local than than Screwball for us. We're supporting local. Yeah, it's got a good nose on it. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Let's try it out. I don't know what I think of that. I don't know either. It's it it starts really uh, strong. It does, and then it ends extremely peanut buttery. It does, but it also to me has like almost a chocolate flavor. It to does, it. like a peanut butter cup, more so like a bitter. I would have said that is it, it tastes a lot like yeah, like a Reese's yeah peanut butter cup. Um, because there's definitely something more. I don't know. On the I'd back have end. to play with that one. It's chocolate. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to drink more of that one. Chocolate on the back end is uh, what I'm getting. Yeah, out of definitely, it. like a cocoa nib or like. A dark chocolate, like which bitter. is weird because it hits you up front with the whiskey flavor, yeah. and then after that, it's just a whole lot of smooth flavor. Yeah, that's I, good stuff. I'm actually a pretty big fan. Yeah, and uh, I like it because again, it's not mimicking any of these two. No, it's its own product. They are completely different, but you know, just for reference, if you guys watched our last screwball video, we ran out, so we had to uh, go yeah, pick up so some more. Got a new bottle here today. And uh, just for reference, we're going to take one for you. Um, you know, but I do like that they you know all what? have something unique to offer. What are you doing there? Oh, no. Are you inventing a new drink right now? Right now. Are we, are we three doing... Three peanuts. The three peanuts? So you gotta, I'll get to that one, sorry. Yeah, no. I was just going on the we're line fine. there. I'm actually, I'm digging this. I'm liking the ingenuity. Well, they're so different. Like, one's salty, one's sweet, and one's got a little bit of chocolate. Yeah. So, like, that that could be a killer combination right here. <laughs> it smells really good. It does smell good. It smells like uh, like peanut butter syrup. We're going to find out. Yeah. Cheers, guys. That's Cheers. not bad. No. There's a lot going on there. There really is. <laughs> I'm a fan. Actually, the three of them together uh, works out extremely well. Yeah. Solid. Good job, bud. 
The three peanuts. All right. Well, you saw it here. Uh, still, though, not going to lie. If I'm, if I'm picking one peanut butter whiskey to keep in my home bar, still going to be Screwball I agree. all day. Uh, it is the most peanut butter flavored, like straightforward flavor that you're going to get when they say peanut butter flavored whiskey. Um, the rest of them uh, have, have something extra going on. Not a bad thing. Just, uh, yeah, I mean, some strong contenders. I love it. Yeah. Good times. And the birth of the triple peanut. Triple peanut. You were here. You That's saw it live. Three, three peanuts, man. The three peanuts. I dig it. All right, guys. Well, I guess we'll see you next time. Life's a breeze with Matt and Steve. We'll see you next time. Later.